Hey guys, this is Diablos from Skillcap and in this video I'll be showing you on how to record your own gameplay and analyze it. From recording your own gameplay, you will be able to see the mistakes and work on them. This greatly improves your skill as a player. After all, mistakes are there to learn from. If you don't know what you're doing wrong, you can improve. This is also one of the most important guides that I can provide, so pay attention. For recording program, we're gonna be using DX Story. I'll show you on how to install it, set it up and use it. Now let's get started. The first thing what you need to do is to download DX Story. You can buy DX Story for $36, but it's also completely free to use with a watermark in the video. So if you're not making videos like this, it really doesn't matter if the video has a watermark because you will be deleting the footage anyway. So after downloading and installing the program, you want to set it up. So the first thing you want to set up is the location for your files to go into. You go to the folder tab, click add folder and then select your location. You want to select a drive that you're not playing from. For example, you have your game that you're playing from on C. You want to have your files to any other drive. Next, you want to go to the hotkeys tab and set up your start, stop, movie capture keybind. For me, it's the minus on the numpad. After this, you want to go ahead and close the program and download the codec from the description below. Download the codec. Quickly install the codec. Open up the program again go to the movie tab and select your codec to lag with looseless codec after that set up the codec make sure to check use multi-threading and select UV12 mode click OK select your frame rate I recommend 30 FPS Make sure you have file output checked, direct show output unchecked, file format AVI, and scaling on 100%. After this, go to the audio tab, make sure you have record sound checked, and on the first stream, you wanna select a speaker device. You select your speaker device, click on the add audio stream, and select your microphone on the second audio stream. So you should have two streams, one for the audio and second for the microphone. And after this you're pretty much done. So now when you open a game, you should have your FPS on the top left corner of your screen. And when you press your record hotkey, the green frame rate should turn into orange and when you press the hotkey again it should stop recording and you should have the file on selected location after this you want to make sure you have the file you go to your selected location and open up the file with VLC media player or or Windows media player VLC media player is completely free and can be downloaded from the description below you want to download the VLC player because that way you don't have to mess around with any codecs because sometimes when you play the footage in Windows Media Player it doesn't play all the audio streams. For example, you would have the game sounds and the Skype but not your microphone. And sometimes it's the other way around. You only hear yourself and not the game sounds and the Skype. So by downloading VLC player you will be able to make sure that you got both of the streams playing at the same time. Ok, let's recap a little bit. You have downloaded and installed and set up the DX Story. You have downloaded the codec for the DX Story. And you have a player which plays both of the sound streams. Now let's talk about on how to record and analyze your gameplay. So the first thing is, why would you record your own gameplay? And the answer is pretty simple. You probably lost the game and you want to know how did you lose it. 
and how to improve in the next game. And the second thing is how do you analyze the video? You want to start off by checking all the major cooldowns that has been used or hasn't been used during the game. For example, did I ice block? Did I use bubble? Did any of my teammates use any defensive cooldowns to save me? How did I die? Was the positioning good? Did I line of sight? Did I die in a smoke bomb? Did I die during the recklessness? Here's how you don't analyze the match correctly. You don't analyze the match correctly by saying you healing sucked. You did too low damage. Why there is no CC? You also don't analyze the game correctly when saying after the first game that that comp is unbeatable, there is nothing we can do about it. If you feel like that you are going to rage quit or any of your partners are going to rage quit, the best thing is to take 5 to 10 minute break just to chill out and then try again. You also are not going to improve by rage queuing. And by rage queuing I mean in the beginning you didn't have any game plan versus that setup and you just went oh well let's queue again and see what happens in the next game. When you enter arena you need to have some kind of game plan on who you're gonna go for and who you're gonna CC or who you're gonna switch into. You can just queue again even if it's the same setup and still not know what to do versus that comp. So if you lose a game which you recorded, you just tell your partners, give me a second, I'll analyze the video and I'll let you know what we're gonna do differently next game. And that's about all for this time. I hope you guys learned something. If you like this video, skill me up on skill cap and Warcraft movies. If you're watching this from YouTube, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel as Skillcap. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.